Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play with Dwarf Mask. And today we're continuing on with the Great Bay, and we are actually going to the Great Bay Temple. This is going to be very interesting. Yeah. Oh my god. And yes, we still do have Bay and 810 with us. And I guess that will be with us for the remainder of the Great Bay Temple and other Great Bay side quests. It seems like all the time the, um, it's always the water dungeon that's always the hardest. Oh my god, this is gonna be this is gonna be heck right here. Uh, but I, I think you could argue that the Stone Tower Temple is really, really hard too. Yeah. I'm ready for that. I, I, I'm excited to do that. Yeah. Uh, and I do, I, I do want to remind you guys that I, I'm not using any, any walkthroughs or any info for this game, no books, it's just from brief memory of playing this as a child, which is actually pretty good as well, but I, I just wanted to reinforce that, because I, I didn't know if I put that across well enough. That, that's amazing right there. Um, remembering this whole game and where the stuff is. That's amazing. I can never Yeah, I completely forgot the song. Yeah. Left, up, left, right, down, left, right. Wow, I'm surprised I actually got that. Yeah. Alright, cutscene. There's Lulu. Realize this when I open my eyes, the passing of days is quite quick, isn't it, Lulu? Yes, Lulu, it's nothing to be surprised at. Although my eyes were closed in sleep, I still see everything that occurs in this ocean. Hmm, it seems Lulu is confused. Regrettably, there's no time for idle conversation. Now then, cried proud Zora Warrior. The open seas of Great Bay may have need of your might. Quickly, climb onto my back. I think at this point in the game, most people were flabbergasted. I don't think you'd expect a rock to turn into a giant turtle. But he clearly wants a Zora warrior to get on his back. But no, you have to turn back into Link and then hookshot onto his back. <laughs> uh, uh, I know, I didn't understand that either. I thought that they should have Mikau could be able to use the Lens of Truth and the uh, the hook shot. Because Mikau is Mikau is actually he's a lot more complex than um, Link in the Goron and Deku. You, you, you think he'd be able to use that? Yeah. yeah. I think he has normal hands. Yeah. I always like this little cutscene. Yeah. I always wonder where they went whenever. I think 
don't don't they come back at the end? They might. I'm not sure. I forget. Great Bay Temple, we're here. Alright, we wave goodbye to him. Before we leave, there are some things we have to do in this room. Yes, the first very room of the dungeon. Well, one isn't really essential, but it's necessary just to get resources. And, uh, we did get some off screen, as you know, as you might have saw, we did restart the time cycle, so we had more time to complete the dungeon. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there's a fairy in one of these boxes. So I, I definitely could be wrong about that. I love the music here. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, I, I really do like the music here too. Oh. Uh, you guys are probably thinking, why do we need fire arrows already? Well, you see all these torches? Yeah, we need to light all of these. That, that's how Nintendo is. They're going to make you sit there, and they're going to make you do something in the first room of the dungeon. I should have thought this through. I should have got stick. You can't really. I, I've never really seen Deku sticks this part of the temple or anywhere inside the temple. There we do go. You, do you need the fire arrows for this temple? I think you don't. Uh, actually, you do. There's a part where you have to unfreeze a section to get to the part. Oh, yeah, that's popular. Uh, first straight fairy in the game. I really like the straight fairy pride for this temple. I'm not trying to give any spoilers out, but I think that one for the Stone Tower Temple is a lot better than this one. But this one's pretty good too. Yeah, I, w I would have to agree with you to say that's better, but I like this one just because uh, I'm not really actually sure. I think the next one's probably the best thing they can actually get at fairies. And as you guys heard, the fairy up there, yes, there is another fairy. This temple's like a head-on temple. They give you everything right out of the bat. There's a lot of stuff in the heroes here. Uh, I'm trying to dodge. Whoa, that's beautiful. Underwater switch here, we actually have to pull this or push, and then it activates some of the water, which you will be using a lot for this time. And that's the gimmick of this time. I, I swear, I, it, it took me a long time because I kept on using I used the bunny hood at this part to jump over to that little water thing. And it took me, sometimes I fail, and that, that really stinks because you have to do that all over again. Get all over again. And there's a stray fairy right under there, so, yeah, 
they bring everything out at you all at one time. There's no easy little beginning puzzle. It's all straightforward. There's nothing to hide in this country. How many straight fairies are there again? I think there's... 15 in each uh, country. Because I know there's 15 in the wood ball. I don't know if there's 15 in each temple. the second room. This is a very complicated, elaborate room right here. This clearly shows how Termedia was very advanced. A lot of, uh, more advanced than Hyrule. Now, I believe there's a straight fairy in this barrel cross. Yeah, there is. There's a ton of spoiler there, but it, it, you don't understand it yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and dive down here. And we're going to go ahead and start off by going up on the highest level there. You have to just follow the water curve. Use the top level, so we're just going to go ahead and get up here. And you saw over there, there's a chest which you can hookshot to. That's one of the greatest things about the hookshot. That's the only way. I think you might be able to fish flop up there, but I think it's a little bit difficult. I mean, I, I never was really great at fish flopping. I always thought it was kind of hard. Especially I, I as a kid. I can do it really good. Most of the time, and sometimes I have my moments where it's like, um, uh, what are you doing? Yeah. But most of the time I'm pretty decent at it. Yeah. As you see, we can't get over there yet. So we have to go down. <laughs> And those things grab you and toss you around. I hate those things. Dixie hands? And as you see, if you turn around, there's a little plant behind you. One of the things I was hanging from their ceiling. Yeah, these things grow eyes and they're super creepy. And there's a chest up here which contains a key. At least I think it does. Is that or a stray fairy, but I'm pretty sure it's a key. Six one. You're really getting. You're not even halfway through the temple, and you're getting almost all the straight fairies. It's really good to knock them out the way quick. And here's another room with an actual another straight fairy inside. Yeah. <laughs> Not on this side. And there it is. Great fairy number seven. We're just racking it up, aren't we, guys? Uh, I don't believe it's necessary to kill them. So, 
I'm not going to. That worked out one way or another. Yeah. And we then we can What do you think, Nick? Think we should run these videos up to 20? Yeah. I do too. We're gonna go for it. It'll knock the great great. Holy oh, crap! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god. But what, what I was saying, it'll knock the great bay out a lot faster. Exactly. I usually do those that my actually rubbers with my uh, sword range. It's a lot easier. And it looks cool. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that or not. That was pretty crazy. I, go, I jumped on the like that and like dove on to the other one and hold off and jump across to the platform. They're pretty cool. Yeah. And this is the only way out now, so we'll just hop on here. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the top current, correct? The middle current would run through. This is the top, so you gotta do one level. Yeah. I seriously don't know if I've seen that. There's a whole way of that. Oh, let me, let me take a breather down here at the bottom. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, this is straight Barry's current part. guys we're back uh, we had some little technical difficulties with Skype but now we're back we're just up at the top and just swam right up and all right let's continue Whoa. oh I remember what to do in this spot but I can't do it right now I don't have the proper materials. Gotta get out of the way of that long shoe. Yeah. And since now that we have the key, we can go ahead and open the door. Um, this guy. Oh my god. I'm not gonna give any spoilers. Oh. Oh my. You're not. This is exactly who I think it is, isn't it? Oh! Wait, which one is it? I'm so scared right now. Crap! What? Oh my god. My, my first, first time fighting, fighting war. Was like, I can't even do it. He's so hard. Yeah, this is gonna be trouble, I can already tell. I have a good tactic. Like, you can either turn on the dead and take off the bubble that way. I usually use a quick shot to get off the bubble. And then I can
if I'm far enough, I usually just spam it with arrows. But that's yeah. not going to work, so I don't have much arrows to spam. Yeah. yeah. There, stop running. Oh, I'm getting hurt. We took a good many of them down there. <laughs> Oh, I definitely should have hit his eye. I got cheated out. This way it's just a lot easier to get down. Yeah. Jeez, this is a lot to take down though. Oh crap. I, I am so low on hearts, it's not even funny. Oh, you stupid bubble. You stupid bubble. This is my thing. I usually keep it on fire now. And you have no Man, he 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 what? What? Alright guys, this is all we have for you. Next time we will reveal our little prize next video on Let's Play Majora's Mask. We're in the Great Bay Temple, guys. Alright, we'll see you. See ya. See ya.